Hello and welcome to the video. Today we are going to look at what could be the weapons used by the Soviet Union when they are introduced in Hell Let Loose. If you liked the video then please give it a like and subscribe for more. Only about 15% of my watch time is from subs so I would really appreciate you subscribing. Now onto the weapons. The Mosin Nagant, one of the most mass-produced bolt-action rifles in history with over 37 million units made. It has been used from its inception in 1882 and it is still used today. This weapon in Hell Let Loose will be the standard issue rifle for the Soviet Union forces. The Kar 98K is finally going to go up against another bolt-action rifle and I expect this weapon to handle pretty much exactly the same as the Kar 98K. I don't see the point in the devs changing anything from how the Kar 98K operates. It could use the same damage values, bullet velocity, bullet drop and penetration from the Kar 98K. The SVT-40. This was the semi-automatic rifle that the Soviets used in World War II. This weapon will take the place of the Gewehr 43 in Hell Let Loose. This rifle was actually going to be made the new service rifle for the Soviet Union, but when the Germans invaded in 1941, they switched production back to the Mosin Nagant. This was partly due to thousands of SVT-40s being captured by the Germans in the early stages of the invasion, and the SVT-40 had quite a few problems. It had bad vertical recoil, the stock would crack and the receiver could shift upon firing. A sniper variant of this rifle was being produced but because of these problems they stopped development. I expect this weapon to almost be a carbon copy of the Gewehr 43 but maybe give it slightly more vertical recoil and I mean only slightly. The PPSH-41 this was a cheap and reliable submachine gun used in World War II and many other wars around the world. It has two nicknames given to it by the Russians. Daddy and Burp Gun. And that's because of its high fire rate. This weapon came with a 71 round drum magazine or a 35 round box magazine. And I expect Hell Let Loose to use the 35 round magazine as the 71 round would be a bit too OP in this game. More than 5 million of these guns were produced by the end of the war and sometimes entire companies were equipped with these guns making them close quarters specialists. It was also experimented with close air support by mounting them all over a Tupolev Tu-2 bomber and in game I think this weapon will be amazing in close quarters. The high fire rate will obliterate people at close range and if you can control that recoil you could get headshots with ease. I do expect this gun to have slightly more recoil than the other SMGs in the game to compensate for its higher fire rate. I won't be surprised due to how many of these SMGs were made that every roll for the Soviets gets a loadout that includes the PPSH-41. The PPS-42. This was developed as a more compact and lightweight weapon that would be similar to the PPSH-41. During the production of this weapon they emphasised cutting out most of the machining operations and sheet steel stamping the parts. This heavily reduced the production time when compared to the PPSH-41. I expect this to be more of a standard SMG, more comparable to the MP40E and the Thompson. While about 2 million of these guns were produced by the end of the war, I cannot really find out how it was mainly used. So this could end up being like an engineer and a medic only SMG due to its lightweight and compact design. The DP-27, or as it was called in the west, the DP-28. This was the primary light machine gun used by the Soviets in World War II. The first version of this gun was the DP-26, but weaknesses were discovered which led to revisions and ultimately to the DP-27. 
it used the same ammunition that the Mosin Nagant used. It was a very sturdy and simple gun that was cheap and easy to produce. One of the unique parts of this gun was the 47 round disc shaped magazine. This will also be a big weakness for this weapon in Hell Let Loose as it's going to come up against the 100 round LMGs that the Americans and the Germans use. There is also a 63 round variant of the magazine but I think the 47 round one will be used. Fedorov Avtomat. Now I had trouble finding something comparable to the BAR and the STG-44 and this rifle was mainly used in World War I and the Winter War but I think it saw limited use in World War II. It was one of the world's first assault rifles and it was actually operated like a machine gun with one gunner and one person carrying ammo. The Soviets did get the BAR from the Americans and the Bren gun from England so potentially the Soviets could use those weapons instead. I just can't really find out that much information about this gun during World War II and even in Red Orchestra 2 it doesn't even feature. The PTRS-41 was a semi-automatic anti-material sniper rifle designed for anti-tank usage. These rifles were pretty effective at close range when going up against the German tanks but mainly targeting the more thinly armoured parts of the tanks such as the turret. Sergeant Yakov Pavlov led a heroic defence of Pavlov's house in the battle for Stalingrad using this to take out numerous panzer tanks. This weapon could be pretty difficult to balance for Hell Let Loose. I'm guessing it will need to do less damage than the anti-tank launchers for the other forces but as you can see in the footage from Red Orchestra 2 it has very slow bullet velocity making it a nightmare to take out infantry with. So I think the devs should make this rifle perform like this. So it would be really hard to take out infantry with it and by also giving it limited ammunition it should stop people trying to use it as an anti-infantry weapon. So the sniper rifle is pretty much going to be the, the Mosin Nagant rifle but with a 3.5 magnification scope on it. So it's going to be slightly better than the US sniper because I think that has a lower magnification but nowhere near as good as the German sniper. So there we have it, those are my predictions for the Soviet Union weapons in Hell Let Loose. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below and if you like the video give it a like and subscribe for more. And thank you for watching.